All right, it is time to uh, torque all this down since everything's in here that, that needs to be in here. Uh, I need to go shut the power off though because this, uh, this breaker is live and uh, I don't want to be messing with live 240 volt. Okay, I've already gone too far on this. Uh, I checked the specs on this circuit breaker, and they said 16 foot-pounds, which is 192 inch-pounds. So I've got it at 225. I'm going to go to the other one now. The Eden spec, 192 is what it should be. There. According to signature, these over here should be 250. That one's good. <laughs> there we go. So, these are 250. According to Eden, these are supposed to be 192 inch pounds. Alright, so, I'm done with that. I'm going to put this thing back together. <coughs> oh, there, bro, drop my torque wrench. Uh, okay, I just thought, and I doubt that I will ever use this, but it's got a generator port. And I'm going to put an 80 amp breaker in here just for fun. Uh, I've got a charge verter, so I probably will never use this, but maybe if my charge verter breaks, I will have access to a uh, charger. Yeah, I'm putting this cover back on. Uh, the only reason you really need to take it off is to install this breaker because you can't get to these two lugs without uh, taking that cover off but if you're not going to use the breaker if you're just going to go straight into the lugs uh, you can just leave this on there uh, so but you do need to take the exterior scan out in order to get the breakers in be a pain because I'm going to be Opening and closing and opening and closing this thing's gonna get right in my face. I wish I could take it off But there's this LED panel down here for the lights that go on the front I don't want to mess with that and there's no plug that I can see I can unplug it. So I'm just gonna to have to deal with it Okay, it's a new day, and uh, somebody on my video yesterday pointed out that uh, the PV wires need to be inside a conduit, uh, either this uh, FMC or EMT, and they are inside until I get to the wireway, and then they just run over to here and over to here. And so I went and looked it up on the NEC spec and find out that the PV wires can't be in the same cable trough as other wires unless they're physically separated. So these straight through connectors are going to be changed to this and I'm going to run everything through uh, the FMC uh, pipes so that's a chore for today i have to undo all this here oh uh, and luckily i don't have to take it all out i just pull it out to over there and then put it back in the pipe and and connect it up here so it's it's a chore but it's not uh not terrible here we are. okay i'm happy now it's all inside a condo Okay, I've corrected my mistake and I ran conduit from over here to over there for the PV wires. You're not supposed to mix PV wires with other wires in the same cable trough or enclosure. So 
I had to run a separate conduit from over here to over there. I wanted to point out something is that uh, you'll see here that the, the grid is connected to L1, L2, and then over here to the circuit breaker coming in to the uh, grid boss. Now, that in, in this case, when you're using the grid boss, that's the way you hook it up. But ordinarily, this would be the grid coming in, and your loads would be right here if this was a standalone uh, unit without the grid boss. And then you would uh, put all the circuit breakers and everything necessary to, to uh, uh, switch those externally. So, uh, but when, it, when you're pairing this with a grid boss, then you, you hook it up this way, and, the, and this is both the grid and the export back to the house. Oh, my second big mistake is I only allowed enough room in here for the AC cables. So now I've got no way to get the comp through here. This really should have been two inch instead of one and a quarter, but uh, it's too late now. I'm not going to uh, undo all this wiring just to uh, to increase this to two inch. But what I am going to do is I've got a, enough room for two comm cables to go through here. And I'm going to add that right back here to the corner. Uh, one thing I read in the manual is uh, since it covers off that uh, safety guide that goes on here, it's not here. So you're never supposed to have these both on at the same time. So just to be safe until I get the cover back on, I taped this down so that they're, they're never on at the same time. I forgot to mention that this guy, both of these inverters come with the current sensing transformers. The CTs, but they are not used when you're married it to the uh, the grid boss because the grid boss has got the CTs built in and it's monitoring the current. Okay, updating the firmware right now. Uh, I've got it powered up just using one of my batteries just to, so we can wake up. I've got the dongle configured on this one. Uh, I've not done anything with the slave yet, but I'm having to update the firmware to the latest version in order to be able to uh, set this as the master and that as the slave and, and to get them to work with each other in parallel. Uh, the, the firmware that's on it doesn't do that so I've got to do this one then this one and then set this one as master this one as slave and tell them that they're in parallel so uh, my how long is going to take so I won't bore you with all this until it's finished okay what I'm doing now is I'm updating the firmware in the second unit uh, the, the the first unit here is already I finished updating it it's at level 1E1E one e, one e, and now I'm trying to bring the, the next one up to 1E1E. E, one e. uh, what it will do is it, it makes two passes. It'll do uh, upgrade it to 1D1E one e, and then I have to do it again to get it to 1E1E. E, one e. So that's what I'm waiting on now. Now I'm updating the, the grid boss firmware. It's getting dark. I don't know how long this goes on for. Okay, both the inverters are up and uh, they're putting out 204. Okay, got the mini split working, heating up the shop here. I just switched the shop over to uh, run off the inverters and it uh, was doing two kilowatts or two and a half kilowatts in here. So. I think I'm finished with uh, uh, the commissioning of these things and I'm going to save the commissioning for another video because it's quite involved. Okay, I'm doing a charge from grid and uh, seems to be humming along. 
Get warm in here though. I'm gonna check the airflow here. Oh yeah, plenty of airflow. Plenty of airflow here. I'm gonna flip the switch. It's wet out here, so stay in the grass. Right now it's on the grid. Now it's on solar. Let's go see what it did. Okay. The, the doorbell's powered up. And Alexa, wake up. Oh, the Wi Fi's not working yet. See, we got lights. We got more lights. 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 Hey. I think we're good. Okay. No smoke. These guys are just humming away. Not even humming. They're just coasting and check the monitor and see how much power we're drawing okay that's not bad only about 3k so I'm still getting 2300 from solar and pulling some from the battery and looks like 3360 watts total being used by all the stuff that happens to be turned on so, I'm done.